My name's Dave Hooper. I'm the winery operations manager for Cave Spring Cellars. Cave Spring Cellars is located in Niagara in the little town of Jordan. We're taking the best European grape varieties and putting them in Canadian soil. We have 100% Canadian wine. Everything's grown in Niagara, bottled and distributed out. One of the things about being in a small town and being in an older building is dealing with our wastewater. We have a large wastewater volume that we have during our peak periods, especially during harvest, and we create quite a load on the region's infrastructure. We are on a surcharge program for biological oxygen demand, pH, solids, and phosphorus. The last three are very easy to deal with. BOD proved to be very challenging, and we weren't sure where to turn. Our thought was, when we put in a system, we don't want to have surcharges. We want to put in a system where we're eliminating the surcharges from uh, our day-to-day -day work. And that's what we ended up doing with the biogill. Our wastewater system was poor, and I didn't know what to do. You reach out to what, who you think are the experts, engineers, uh, companies, and you're trying to get quotes and information, and it was really challenging. We were fortunate to get involved with biogill. We offered ourselves up as a pilot project for the biogill system. They came in and that really ended up showing us how the biogill works. And what we really saw was that the biogill dropped our BODs substantially. And what was supposed to be an original six week pilot turned into an 18 month pilot. Being able to test things out and, and, and prove that it works really showed us that there was commitment from Biogill and they were stood behind their product. They knew it was gonna work. Any food processing place is gonna have a lot of BODs because it's all about carbon. So for wine, carbon is in the form of alcohol, sugar, and acids, or your organic acids. It's basically the makeup of the juice in the wine. We can't not have it. So anytime anything goes down the drain, even a small little bit of wine or juice, our BODs will go up. We're generally in and around, let's say four to 8,000 PPM, and the region wants that down to 350 or below. We've seen as low as 98 uh, with the biogill. I think that related to about 99%, 0.99 uh, removal of BODs. With the pilot, we got it as low as 21. That was really what spurred us on. It shows that it works. The biogill works. It's, it's very simple, very easy, uh, cost effective. Uh, you can expand on it. Um, when you compare that to other systems, uh, be it a sequencing batch reactor, a membrane batch reactor, which are your really only other options, the footprint of these machines are massive. And the cost, it's 10 times the cost easily. And I say that having gone through and got quotes on these things. Without Biogill, we never would have went down the sustainability path. More importantly, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It, we get rid of our BODs and we do it in a manner that's simple to maintain and easy to run, easy to install and easy on the pocketbook. That was really what got us into Biogill. What's interesting is the number of people that come by and want to see the Biogill. We have a winery, we make great wines and they want to come and check out the wastewater system in the wastewater room. And I've been doing this for 20 years at Cave Spring and I never ever in my wildest dreams thought that the wastewater would be the draw. Everything I'm telling you is true. We didn't start out with any sort of grand scheme and plan that we're gonna be the first sustainably certified winery. It just kind of happened, it caught on. The Biogill really helped us focus our sustainability initiatives. And now that everybody's on board, it has momentum and they wanna keep it going and they want us to keep doing more things. And it's, it's fun to watch, it's fun to be a part of.